Hey, beautiful people, what's up? It's your girl, Brooklyn Stace, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to get into a good recipe that I love, and it's a real quick and easy recipe, and it is sea moss and coffee. So this is my first meal of the day, so to speak, and so I infused it with coffee. Wait until you see this. Wait until you try it. You're going to be shocked. It tastes de delicious okay so let's get right into our ingredients first we're going to be using uh, this sea moss now this is the raw form i actually got this from saint lucia um, it was delivered in i'll put the description where i got this from in the description box this is the gel so you see how it came from the raw to the gel. Next ingredient that we're going to be utilizing um, other than the, obviously the sea moss is almond milk. We're gonna use almond milk. We're gonna use monk fruit sweetener. And I talked about this. It's a really great um, one to one ratio. It's just like white sugar, but it doesn't have all the, the it's not high on the glycemic scales for keto. It doesn't have the calories and the carbs. So look that up i'll put that in description below also so you can try it no aftertaste and it's great next up i'm going to use instant coffee now i've made this before and i've actually brewed some coffee so you can choose to either brew coffee or use instant coffee doesn't matter caramel syrup and it's sugar free and i'm going to be using some ready whip and it's non-dairy and it's almond milk i'm going to be using cinnamon and I'm also going to be using some vanilla flavoring. Now I'm going to be utilizing this handy thing that I love. You know, I use it for everything. I literally almost use this for everything. <laughs> Anything in, in mixing is quick and easy. So uh, I'm gonna be using this portable blender. So now we're going to start by um, pouring in just over eight ounces of almond milk. Next up, we're going to add two tablespoons of our sea moss gel. It's almost time for me to make some more. I'm telling you, I, I utilize this like every day. Take a look at that. Looks like applesauce, doesn't it? So two heaping tablespoons of the sea moss gel. You can have about two to three a day, but I just use two tablespoons a day. Don't want to overdo it. Next up, we're going to use our coffee. This is decaf coffee. I'm a decaffeinated girl. So we're just going to put two to three tablespoons, uh, or teaspoons, excuse me, two to three teaspoons of the instant coffee. And again, you can use it as to however you like your coffee. If you like it stronger than that, by all means do that. Um, if you wanna brew it, you can use brewed coffee. Sometimes I do use brewed coffee but I didn't have it cooled down. So that's why I'm using the instant coffee today. But either or, it just depends on you. Now let's sweeten it up. 
let's put in our monk fruit sweetener like i said this is one to one so it acts just like sugar so one teaspoon of it equals one teaspoon of sugar it sweetens the same exact way it's just better for you so i'm gonna do two but you know what i might do about two and a half just to make it a little bit sweeter why not right Now the next thing I'm going to be using, I'm going to add some of this caramel syrup uh, to it. It's sugar-free as well. And um, this really tastes great. So, you know, if you have flavored coffees, you may not need or want to add the caramel sugar, but you can add it and it will just enhance the flavor. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of this caramel syrup. And the next ingredient I'm going to use, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla flavoring. So, you know, sometimes I use vanilla flavoring in my coffee drink and sometimes I do not. But, you know, today, again, for the recipe's sake, just to enhance everything in the flavor of this drink, I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to add a half a teaspoon of the vanilla flavoring. Next ingredient, I'm going to use this uh, cinnamon and nutmeg mixture and just add about a half a teaspoon in here for that extra kick to it, that extra, hmm, this tastes really good, that, that, that thing. <laughs> if you don't like cinnamon and nutmeg, you can leave it out, but trust me, it tastes really good, so put it in. And those are all of the ingredients that we're going to use guys so let's put the top on this and let's get this all blended up you guys need to get you one of these blenders it makes your life so much simpler I tell you, you can fix your beverages in no time. And if you're running out of the house in the morning, uh, if you don't have time, you could just dump everything in it, put it in the car with you, or take it to your office, your at-home office, or wherever you are, on the run, on the gym, dropping the kids off, whatever you're doing. You can take it in the car and mix it up, and it'll be done lickety-split. Just wanted to show you here that you can actually... Just put your straw in it and just drink it from there. Or if you wanted to, you can take your favorite mug and put it in there. But still, if you wanted to pour it up in a pretty glass like what we're going to do, you can utilize that. Pretty glasses are good. Right, ladies? Look at how frothy that looks. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It is so rich and frothy. And it has a nice coffee smell to it. So it's like, hurry up and get this in the glass and let me drink it. <laughs> so next up, it's time for us to top it with our uh, ready-made, ready whip, non-dairy almond milk whipped cream. Let's get that in the glass. And it's like wild, flying all over everywhere. <laughs> that looks really good. Doesn't that look good, guys? It's like, this can't be healthy. But yep, it's healthy. Now we're gonna top it off with our caramel syrup. And 
we just want to drizzle just a little bit just for presentation now if you don't want the caramel syrup you don't have to but trust me it tastes really great with it on so why not live a little treat yourself it's the holidays <laughs> Then we're going to add our uh, cinnamon nutmeg mixture, just sprinkle it on there um, just for topping and then you mix it in. And when you mix it in, you just sprinkle it on there just for a little bit of topping, just for a little bit of color, just for a little bit of added effect. And also, of course, for the flavor because it tastes really good once you mix it in. And that is it guys, look at that. Doesn't that look great? It's like this cannot be healthy. And wait till you taste it. It doesn't even taste like you have any uh, sea moss in it. I don't taste it because of the all of the other flavors and the coffee. It is just such a good marriage of the flavors. Okay, guys? So that's it. Like, share, subscribe, and also try this. Let me know if you tried it. Drop it in the comments. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know if you added something different in it. If you want to see me do some other type of sea moss drinks or anything healthy, um, as long as it's within reason, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll put that on the list. <laughs> it might be something that I do already anyway. Don't forget to uh, check out our sponsors, the I'm So Shirt. And don't forget to check the description box below. It'll either be on the right side here, it'll be a little arrow, or it'll be on the left side. And you could just check for all the product links. I just want to tell you all, happy holidays. Stay safe out there. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Be well.